Now, if this is your website and on top you're seeing this icon, it means you don't have an SSL certificate installed or if you had one, it has expired. So in this video, I'll show you how to install and set up a free SSL certificate from a trusted brand like Cloudflare, after which this icon that you see here will turn green and look secure. But first, let me clear one big myth. Some people see this green lock and the word secure and assume that it means that their site is safe from hackers in some way. That is not the case at all. For example, let's say that you're in a car and you want to go from point A to point B. The SSL certificate makes sure that this road doesn't have any obvious traps or robbers on it. But if a robber got into your trunk, he'll secretly reach this point with you and you won't even know it. So to actually keep your site safe, you need an effective firewall that actively repels any hackers. The best free one comes with Malcare, which is a full security plugin with all the features you need. The free firewall and malware scanner make sure that the hackers get actively repelled. And in case anyone is inside your site, you'll get notified about it. We've built it ourselves and keep it updated regularly with new features. So do check it out in the link in the description. So why should you get an SSL certificate then? Well, the answer is, Google sees it as a minimum basic security measure. And without it, your visibility on Google search will get reduced and customers coming to your site will see this icon which can definitely create some doubt. So yes, you need it. Okay, now there are three types of SSL certificates. Domain validation, organization validation, and extended validation. As someone who is just getting started, you need to focus on getting a domain validation SSL, which is usually free. For this tutorial, I'm using Cloudflare to get a free SSL certificate, but you can also check out other platforms like Let's Encrypt and Zero SSL. One thing to note is that your SSL certificate usually requires yearly renewal and Cloudflare does that automatically. Now, let's jump straight into the steps. So let's go to cloudflare.com and click on the sign up button over here. So this is what the sign up page looks like. I'm going to type in my email address and password and then click on this blue button to sign up. So once I'm done with the sign up process, I'll reach a page where I need to add my website. So click on add a website or application, enter your domain name. Now it will take you to a page with different plans offered by Cloudflare. Their paid plan starts at $20 per month and is perfect for professional websites. I recommend checking out their other plans if you are a business and need advanced security on your website. Since this video is for beginners, I am going to scroll down and select the free plan, uh, press continue, and then it'll take you to a quick scan page of your website's DNS records. You can scroll down and verify the IP address here. I'm going to scroll all the way to the bottom and then click on the continue button. Now on this page, you can see a few steps for changing your name servers to the ones provided by Cloudflare here. This might seem a bit intimidating at first, but don't worry, I'll walk you through it step by step. It's actually quite easy. So first we have to check where our domain is registered. Now you probably don't know where that is, but if you don't, simply just go up to this website and type in your domain name and click here. My website is registered at Bluehost. I also did not know. So I'm gonna open their website and then log in. Click here and click here. Then you can see the website domain that you want to change. So to change the name servers of this website, simply click on DNS and go to name servers and click here. Then click here. Now here you need to enter the details provided by Cloudflare. So let's go back, let's copy this. Now let's come back and paste it. Now let's go back to Cloudflare again, copy the second one, paste it here, click on save. That's it. Now we've successfully added the name servers to our domain. So now let's go back to Cloudflare and hit continue. It will show you a quick start guide, but you can go ahead and skip this by clicking on finish later below this button. So now it will take us to the Cloudflare dashboard. Now, the name servers haven't changed yet because it takes some time to update, don't worry about that. We'll scroll down and click on check name servers. So we'll get this message that Cloudflare is taking some time to update, which is pretty normal, and we can check back in a while. Uh, so let's hit refresh. Now you can see this message here which says Cloudflare is now protecting your site. Uh, don't worry if you don't see the message yet, uh, you can still move on to the next step that I'm showing. On the left side of the screen, you'll see the SSL TLS option. So click it and select Edge Certificate. If you scroll down, you'll see this option, which is to always use HTTPS. So let's go ahead and turn this on. Now this will automatically redirect the HTTP links on your website to the secured HTTPS ones. 
So you must have guessed what this S stands for here in HTTPS. It stands for secure, but you can go ahead and also use it for subscribe and subscribe below. <laughs> okay, sorry, leave jokes aside. Uh, let's go ahead. Um, we're gonna go to the dashboard, go to plugins, select add new. Now search for really simple SSL. So this free plugin is gonna help us add the SSL to our website. Um, let's click on install, then activate. Now, once it's been activated, it's gonna scan your website for the SSL certificate. Uh, now, as you can see, it says that an SSL certificate has been detected. If you don't have an SSL yet, it's going to show you could not test certificate yet, which I'll show you what it looks like on the screen. So let's go ahead and click on activate SSL now. Click on skip and go to dashboard. Here you can see this warning message. Your site is vulnerable to user enumeration attacks. So go to settings, hardening, and there's a bunch of different options here. And I'll add a blog below uh, to guide you through how to harden your website. All right, so I'm gonna disable this, which is anyone can register. Then I'm gonna hide my WordPress version. Then enable this feature. Uh, disable user enumeration, and then enable this. Then click on save and continue. All right, now let's go to vulnerabilities and enable vulnerability detection. You can also choose if you want to get feedback for the plugin. Uh, click on save. Now let's go back to the dashboard. Now you can see that the warning message we saw earlier has been resolved, but we're not done here. We still need to do a couple of more things. So let's go over to the general settings and swap the old HTTP for a secured HTTPS. And click here. Now we need to make the same change to our site's database as well. And for that, we need to install a free plugin. So let's go to plugins, then add new, and search for better search replace. So this is the one, I'm gonna install it, and activate it. Now in tools, I'm gonna go and open it. And here in the search for box, we'll enter our site's HTTP URL like this. And in the replace with box, we'll add the HTTPS URL. In the select table section, we'll select all the tables uncheck the run as dry option and click on run search replace. Next, you should go to Google, type Qualys SSL test, open it, then go here, add your site. And you should see a report like this to check your SSL rating, which should be an A and these metrics should also be green like you can see here. Otherwise, you can conclude that you bought a free SSL from the wrong place, which is pretty common because there's a lot of scammy sites on the internet. Lastly, we need to inform Google that we have added an SSL to our site. So we need to update our HTTP URL to HTTPS in the Google sitemap, analytics, and Google search console as well. If you don't know how to do that, I'm gonna add links in the description below with blogs to help you out. Also, in this three minute video, I'll show you our new free plugin to triple your site speed. You're really gonna thank me for this later. So click here and I'll see you there.